Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this What Is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about the handy dandy CMS or the Content Management System. That's right, CMS stands for Content Management System. Now, CMSs have been around for a very long time. In fact, I don't even remember the first time I picked up a CMS. It was probably WordPress, if we're being honest, either that or maybe Magento could have been one of them. Either way, CMSs have been here ever since PHP and uh, databases started being used online because with a database, and with server-side code, you can make dynamic websites. And a content management system is really just a system for managing your content and building a dynamic website. So I'm going to start off with the first of these, which is WordPress.org, which is probably one of the most popular platforms on the planet. So WordPress, 43% of the web uses WordPress. Yeah, it's that wild. Um, WordPress is a PHP based platform that has been around for a long time now. They're currently on version 5.9 and it is, again, it's a PHP based platform, but it's something that's been used by a lot of people. You can make e-commerce sites, you can make um, forums, you can make oh, community-based sites, all sorts of things with WordPress. There's an endless amount of plugins, themes, and patterns and, and things to look at with WordPress. So this is WordPress. It's a place where you can manage your content, right? Uh, what you're doing when you're managing your content is typically you're writing, maybe it's a post or a page, maybe you're working on a block, um, maybe you're working on something and you want someone who's non-technical to be able to update that. Well, with websites, you kind of got into get into the code, but with a CMS sitting in front of it, it provides you an interface for working with your content. That content is then saved to a database and then retrieved from that database on the front end. So this makes the site way more user friendly because who in 2022 has not updated a Facebook account or something? If you could do that, you can run a WordPress site. It's just, it's that easy. So WordPress.org is definitely um, an option. If you're looking for a CMS, I'm just going to run out some other CMSs that are very popular. Um, Drupal, which is probably the one that I've used the most. In fact, if you, you're familiar with the history of this channel, I've probably recorded like 200 Drupal tutorials over the course of my life, which is wild to think about. Um, I haven't touched Drupal in a little while, but it's still definitely widely used. And it is also a PHP based content management system that uses a database. You can set up your database, connect it to Drupal and then build your application. And you can build your application without writing PHP if you want. In fact, for a long time, I made a ton of PHP based Drupal sites without touching a single line of PHP. But obviously, once you get better at PHP, just like WordPress, a lot of doors open up for you in Drupal. Now, Drupal is very, very configurable and very, very widely used. Now, another option is going to be a more paid solution. This is something that we use now called Sanity at Sanity.io. This is a paid product. Um, the difference is, is the tools and support you're going to get with something like Sanity is going to be quite a bit more. Like Drupal and WordPress are a little bit like um, you go and figure it out. You do the research, whatever you figure it out with Sanity. Uh, you, it's definitely a lot more handholdy, but also the the interface is much nicer uh, and this is a brand new brand new tool compared to WordPress or Drupal. This thing is uh, really super neat and it, it definitely fits within the modern web. You can make your own user components. If you have a developer who wants to be making components for the CMS, you can connect to any of these modern frameworks that exist. It's used by a lot of people and I, I'm sure they, I don't know if they would love to say, Hey, we're a CMS, but really they're a way of having structured content and the structured content bit to me puts them in the CMS category. And I say this because the CMS label isn't necessarily black and white, right? You have a CMS like WordPress or Drupal that handles just the entire thing from the back end to the front end of your site to the content experience. But some of these things like Sanity, Sanity is not handling the front end of your site at all. You're using it just to hold your content and people will call these a headless CMS, headless. So a headless CMS is a CMS nonetheless. It just doesn't have a front end. So it doesn't have a, a front end head to it. So where WordPress and Drupal, by the way, you can use in a headless manner to just 
uh, utilize it as an API to grab data from, something like Sanity is made explicitly for you to bring your own front end. Now, there's also something like Strapi, that's S-T-R-A-P-I dot I-O. I got really nervous while spelling that. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's like a five-letter word. Of, oh, my. Um, it's a six-letter word, by the way, and um, so there's that. Either way, Strapi, as you can tell from their website, very well designed. Um, this is another one that is like very user friendly. If you're looking for something that's user friendly, Strapi's great. Again, it connects with all these modern front end types of code. You're writing something in React or Next.js, you can use Strapi to connect to it. Strapi sees themselves design APIs fast and manage content easily. They see themselves as an open source headless CMS, 100% JavaScript, okay? So if you're in the, the category of looking for a headless CMS, you're looking for something that's open source, um, Strapi, this seems like a great option. It's really, really cool. Um, and just check out this website. Very cute, right? Looks good. Uh, next is another one that I wanted to show called Ghost. Now, Ghost was very much the first. They were trying to be like the WordPress of the Node.js world when they first came out. And they've been around for a long time at this point. For about as long as Node.js has existed, uh, Ghost has been around. And Ghost, they, this, this site got a major glow up recently. This thing's looking awesome. You know what? I haven't used this, but they're kind of like pivoting to be turn your audience into a business. It really seems like they're really focusing less on the blogging and more on the um, having a, a paid newsletter, paid post, published, that kind of stuff. So they're taking some of their roots and turning it into a platform for new media creators. And I think that's really fantastic because you know what? This thing looks awesome awesome and it kind of always has looked awesome if we're being honest this is definitely a platform I, I wish i would have gotten more into but you can see you can edit directly on the page you can have e-commerce going in no time it connects to all these things and again i believe this one is open source as well or at least it was in the past let's see marketplace themes integration resources maybe about us they're non-profit I would imagine this thing is still open source, but I don't know that to be the case. Open source. What is open source etiquette? New open source Git themes. Ghost is an open source professional publishing platform. Look at that alliteration. Professional publishing platform built to a, on a modern Node.js stack. Okay, so it's Node.js. Awesome. This thing is great. Uh, I really wanted to get into this, actually. Maybe I'll, I'll fire something up with this. And maybe the last one I'm going to show for this right now is going to be Keystone. Keystone is, again, this is another new sort of modern style uh, CMS. A lot of these more modern CMSs you're going to see are, are trying to take the more headless approach to them, um, which is interesting because they're not trying to do everything. I, I, I saw Ghost isn't a headless CMS, but this one... Um, this one basically allows you to get a powerful GraphQL API and a beautiful management UI for content and data. They call it a CMS or an app framework. It looks awesome. Um, it's actually, let's play a game here. How many of these websites that I pulled up have West Boss's face on them? I use Keystone in my advanced React course. Okay, there's one. I know he's not on Ghost. Let's see, is he on Strappy? Uh, I think they had at one point me and Wes on this site. Okay, they don't have him here. Let's see. Um, yep, there he is. Uh, <laughs> Syntax co-host, West Boss. And he's not on WordPress or Drupal, but maybe soon, huh? Right? Um, <laughs> they, Strappy actually made us our own little landing page um, when, we, when we sponsored an episode of Syntax for them. Either way, these are awesome options. And honestly, they all are slightly different in so many ways, but that line of like, what's a CMS versus not, eventually you get into this territory of like, is something like Hasura, which is really just like a API management software. Is that, is that a CMS? Maybe-ish, maybe-ish, a super base. Is super base a CMS? I don't think so, no. I, some of these things like, like uh, what we have with Keystone Strappy, um, Ghost and WordPress, whatever, these really focus on the experience of editing and, and um, 
and that like getting to use your content where something like a Hesera is more about like structuring the data and creating an API and not about the user interface for this type of thing. So these are CMSs. This is what a CMS is. And this is the modern look at like what a CMS is. Now, if you want to learn some of this stuff, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. You know, we have courses on, in fact, it's not up here just yet, but we have a course on Keystone coming out this month from the amazing Amy Dunn. We have um, uh, courses on WordPress. We have a lot of courses on WordPress in here, a lot of courses on Drupal. And you know what? I think we should start getting into Ghost too, because Ghost looks pretty sweet, right? It's open source, maybe even Strappy as well, because that's open source. So either way, there's a lot of content here on Level Up Tutorials. If you want to learn anything related to web development, modern web development, the latest front end frameworks and more, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.